All right. So my good buddy Mo uh, Cantilever Jr. just came by with a treasure trove of stuff for your old pal Dirty here. Uh, I'm I'm blown away by this stuff. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is he gave me uh, gave me a couple boxes. Uh, he gave me this here box. I can build guitars out of these boxes. Like good guitars out of these boxes. These are fantastic boxes. Uh, they're not cigar boxes, but they're the same idea. You know, it's a handcrafted wood box. Just incredible. These these sound great. They're nice and deep. Real cool. And the Santa Claus box has inside of it some stuff. It has a smaller box. It's like a babushka here. Okay. Two smaller boxes. This box and this box, which will be useful for something, no doubt. There's a Roadkill Cantina Band sticker, which is old school classic shit. Some some of this stuff which can be used for something I'm sure but most importantly a pair of needle nose pliers which I these ones are kind of jimmied but I can fix them up I need a pair of those okay so that's oh and some uh, some wire wire is always good so yeah that's the boxes these are incredible. Now, the next stuff I'm going to show you this stuff. Okay, well, these two things are kind of cool. Uh, an old super distortion pedal. It's, it's broken, needs a wire, but just needs a soldering, really. No big whoop. Cool distortion pedal, DOD, old school. And a, uh, a digital delay, a cactus digital delay. That I don't use a lot of pedals, but uh, if I was going to buy a pedal, I'd probably buy a delay pedal. I've had a few pedals, but uh, yeah, I've never had a digital delay. That's fucking cool. I'm sure that can be used for something cool here. But this is the stuff that really knocked my socks off, man. An old dispatch mic. Great harmonica microphone. Another dispatch mic. These all just need like rewirings or fix fixings up, whatever. I'm sure they they work fine. And even if they don't, they're cool to look at. So, yeah, this is like an old cabby mic, really. I've used these in recording before. They sound fantastic. And this is the fucking, the cream of the crop. It just needs, it needs a pole, a pole added to it. But this little bullet mic here, this, if I can fix this up, this is going to be the best harmonica microphone I've ever had. I've had some fucking killer harmonica microphones before. But I swear, I know, I can, I just feel it. This is an amazing microphone. And this bag here is the guts, the nuts and bolts and stuff, for what I thought was going to be a resophonic guitar, but it is, actually isn't, and it's actually better that it isn't, because I need an, an electric guitar right now. But I'm going to show you this whole thing, if we can see it here. Here's the neck. It's an old National Old uh, National Electric guitar, you know. It's kind of a Les Paul copy. Um, the body. What's the body? It's going to be a beautiful guitar when I get it put together. Um, he just said, basically, just put it together and plug it in and it'll work. So that's cool. And in the, in the case, it came with a case too, there's also an old pair of gloves, an old court tuner, a bag of some something, a bag of something that I'm going to check out, looks like pepper, um, a bottle cap, an old school, looks like old school beer cap. And some Spider-Man candy cigarettes, which is pretty awesome. I'm just going to leave all this in the 
in the case because that's where that's where it lives. Uh, the band the, now the case is the, Ken, he gave me a case for it too, and the case is tied together with an old bandana from Spiderland Punk Fest. Uh, another bandana that has some punk rock relevance of some sort. And this is actual cloth from the, uh, from the prison, the, the local, I got probably the Lindsay, uh, correctional, East Central Correctional Facility. Uh, but yeah, this is actual prison cloth, so I'll be using that for something. Probably to keep this guitar case from falling apart. There's a strap, too. So yeah, I guess I just gotta put this thing together using the... Using my, my wit and wisdom. Or whatever. But get back in the light here. I can't thank Mo Cantilever Jr. enough for such an incredible... Uh, I this, this is amazing. I'm just floored by this. This is amazing. So yeah, if I can get this stuff up and running, it's going to be some mighty fine musical gear. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much. And, uh, you know, it's great. And uh, I hope you all have a good day. I'm going to try to put this... Well, I'm going to make a cooking video because it's lunchtime. And then I'm going to come back and put this guitar together. Be well. Stay free.